In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Mendeley Reference Manager to add citations and your reference list into your Word document for your assignment. But before you can do that, you need to ensure that Mendeley can talk to your Word software. And the way to do that is to go to Tools and go to Install Mendeley Site for Microsoft Word. What this does th then is adds a, a software to Word so that they can talk to each other. So now if I go down to my Word document, and this is just an example document, and you want to add in your uh, references, you click on References. Let's give it a while. And you'll see a new section here with the Mendeley symbols. So now as you are typing, or after you've typed, and you want to add in your in-text citations, which you always do before the full stop, you click there and you go to Insert Citation. Let's give it a moment. And then you go, say, go to Mendeley. And you go to the library that you are busy working with. And you choose the source that you have used. So if the source that you used was this one by Jackson, you click there and you say Cite. Click on the Cite button and there you see the citation is automatically added. I'm just putting in the space. And so you carry on through the document. Every time you use one of your sources in your assignment, you go to Insert Citation, you say Go to Mendeley, you pick the next source that you were using, you click there, and you say Cite. And I'm going to do just one more because I want to show you how this also works. Is I click there, and I say Insert Citation, say Go to Mendeley, pick another one, for example Cleaver, and I say Cite. And we can see all our in-text citations are coming along nicely. Just make sure you've got your spaces in there. Right. Now, if I want to create my reference list, you have to first of all go to a new page. So I say Control Enter. I type in the heading References. And then what I do is, is I go here, yeah, it says Insert Bibliography, but we're not inserting a bibliography, we're inserting a reference list. But we click there, and we can see the three sources that we have added. Now, that's what a reference list is. A reference list is sources that you've used in your paper and so far we've used three and that's why we only get three references not all the references that we see in Mendeley but rather just the ones we see in our document now look what happens if I add in another one in the meantime I go insert citation I say go to Mendeley let's add in this one I say cite and look it automatically adds it into references and as you're busy working adding in your citations, your reference list will get longer and longer. Now, another thing to think about is, how do I manipulate my in-text citations? If, for instance, you are quoting someone, then the name will have to come out of the bracket, or you might want to add page numbers, and so forth. So, to change these in-text citations, you make sure that you highlight them. Just once click. Now you see, if I go out of it, at the moment it says insert citation. The moment I highlight the citation it says edit citation. So I can click there and then I can click on Fulmer and then I can for instance add in a page number. So say I found this on page 35, I can type 35 and I can say OK. And there we see it's added in the page 35. Or I might want to leave the author out so I'll highlight it say edit citation, click on cleaver and I say suppress author, I say OK and it only leaves the 1997 because the author will now be part of the sentence as if you are quoting. So these are the basic, this is probably the most valuable part of using Mendeley is how it can help you to do your in-text citations and your references. Now don't forget there are many different styles. Make sure that you are using the APA style and the 7th edition.
make sure that is marked otherwise everything you do here will be wrong thank you and appreciate you listening